can you cheat more in a positive direction? Become a con man. Alex, tell us just, I want to, what's your dream life? You could wave a magic wand, you doing any, what are you doing? Uh, um, I am, <coughs> um, become a con man. Listen, Alex, I got to get out of this. Here it comes. Ooh, yep. Let's talk to Alex. That's a yeah, good, that's a good that, highlight. That's Who not, highlighted that one. That's a good highlight. Yeah, me. I, I, I was looking at that one earlier. No, that's a great like highlight. Yeah, let's, let's talk to Alex. All right, let me grab Alex one second. Beautiful. Move to the room. Cameron, you're doing great. Alex, are you, uh, Zach, are you there? you're doing great. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Alex, hey. Alex, can you hear us? Yeah, hi. Hi, Alex. How are you? What's, how's life? Um, I'm great. How are you? Uh, I'm a gecko on the computer. Hey, Alex, you're doing great, man. <laughs> um, Thanks. Thanks, Ken. How, how can we get you today, Alex? Um, all right. So, yeah, my story is about how, um, basically, uh, I've always kind of been very good at gaming the system as far as school goes. Um, I'm in college now, but um, ever since like middle school, I have been I've gotten very good at like cheating on mm -hmm. homework, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and how and has now, that worked out for you as you ventured into your adult life? Yeah, exactly. So now I'm in junior year of college, and um, the work got hard, <laughs> and my work ethic is kind of shot, and. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I'm now I'm trying to, like, re-teach myself how to be a good student. Well, uh, all right, let me ask you this. What are you going to college for? Uh, software engineering. Do you care about software engineering? No. Okay, so you're trying <laughs> to get really good at a thing that you don't care about. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm decent at it, and it's one of the few jobs that I don't hate doing. Okay. What do you, what do you like, do you like doing anything or is all, is, is life bleak? <laughs> no, life's not bleak. Um, I just don't like working really. Amen, brother. <laughs> well, um, could you find, uh, uh, we were talking about this earlier. Could you find, um, somebody to, uh, get married to and you can be a stay at home father and not have to do anything? I guess that would, no, that's doing, that's doing stuff. But it's different. It's you're you you probably listen. I hated having a day job too. I knew that I would never be happy doing that, and that's part of what pushed me into the career I am today to to do that. It's about you know the freedom. It's about not having to be somewhere you don't want to be. It's about not having a boss. It's about not being forced to sit and do meaningless fucking dumb desk work and sucking out and then like counting the fucking minutes of your life draining away as you look desperately at a fucking excel file to do god the most meaningless menial fucking dog shit task to make a bunch of rich people richer it's just like so pointless this cannot be the reason we're here on earth Does this you know what count i mean as desk work because we're at a desk yeah i think i think that counts yeah um yeah. Okay, have you thought about, I think about this all the time, have you thought about um, working long enough to save up a little bit of money and then running away to a lower cost of living country where you can uh, rent an apartment for a tenth of the price as you could in America and um, just kind of sitting there? That was my plan B, die. to be honest. I was I like, all the time. Yeah, yeah. I was like, shit, I could probably retire in Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good plan B. Um, my girlfriend lives in the UK, so... That's that's expensive. Not that not that much cheaper than America, yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, um, I'm also very bad at saving money. That's another what problem. What do you spend? What do you spend money on? Um, I I order a lot of takeout. You know, Uber Eats, yeah. DoorDash. It's yeah. expensive, bro. That shit is expensive. Like Fifty bucks. Yeah, yeah, boy. It adds up. Fifty bucks for Taco Bell. Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> let's all right. Let's get. Let me. All right. Let's get. What's creative. the issue? I missed it. You you cheated, and now you feel like you fucked you, fucked up. Yeah. 
Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I cheated my way through high school and uh -huh. well, so uh, what? I mean, well, you well, okay, well, right? but here's the thing: you learned a skill, which is cheating. Yeah, yeah, and, and I mean, I don't know. So how can you now? How you, you could? How can you now? Like that's what your that could be your profession. Use that. Can you cheat more in a positive direction? Like, I'm can you cheat right. the system? Use that. Become a con man. Well, so here's a suggestion to you. I've heard of this before, where like programmers or or you're doing some kind of like tech job like that, you can outsource yep. it to some people in India. Oh yeah, to do the fucking work for you. That's but then that's cheating. And then the people from India, they outsource it to people in Houston, and it just becomes a big, you know, ping pong. <laughs> Houston, those poor Houstonites. They're desperate as shit. Dude. What is his name? Alex. Alex, tell us just, I want to, what's your dream life? You could wave a magic wand, you doing any, what are you doing? My dream life? Yeah. Uh, I guess, realistically, I have to work some. No, it, 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 outside of, re, you could, there could be unicorns in it, whatever you want. Forget okay. about the realm okay, no of work. society. No work. Um, I I live with my girlfriend. Okay. And, <clears throat> um, Listen, Alex, I gotta get out of this. I'm yeah, sorry, bro. Up? Love you, though. Oh, yeah. You're good, bro. Yeah, sure. Just keep crushing. Cheat your way out of it. You could cheat out of anything. <laughs> All, right, All right, thank keep you. Keep it up, man. Don't lose, don't lose faith. Sorry, bro. I just... I felt it. What I felt you, what it are expiring. You, what do you? What do you? What's like? What's your dream call for this moment? Oh well, well we had no like the micro penis one was great. Okay, I wanted to talk. The one that I like mm -hmm. is when you have deep interpersonal conflict. Okay, with with uh, somebody like that. Yeah. That to me usually gets me That's going. Your measure of a good. This one, one I really wanted to talk to this girl who wanted to do porn, but her boyfriend was against. Like that sounded okay. really interesting to me. I think anything could be interesting, but that was but that was that was a path to fucking nowhere. How so? He's twenty one. Yeah. He doesn't like working. Sure. Also, he wasn't very forthcoming. It started going circular a little bit. I okay. felt like too. But it's like he's twenty one, he doesn't like working. It's like, well, you know. I get it. He couldn't answer your questions. You're asking what's your dream? Uh, work life. He's he's hesitating too much. Okay. We need motion. Mo sure. And we need. Okay. I need. Well, so it's, it's sometimes well, now. Well, in the moments of hesitation, they're thinking. That's the Think whole. Faster. That's the point of talking about this stuff. I, 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 my sense was that, as much as I love him, yeah, he's a fan of the show, and I love that. Sure. It just wasn't going anywhere interesting, sure, bro. Sure, sure, sure. You, I, 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 it wasn't, man. I'm sorry. You guys want to do a poll? I like that. Let's do a poll. No, I like that. I want to see. Think, I've has. thought about doing the same. I've thought about letting the chatters decide when I keep talking to a caller. But then, but they're gonna. I wouldn't do that. But they're gonna next. Every, they're they're yeah. gonna next. I'll like pick up a phone call and someone will be like, "Hi, my name," and it's just next. Yeah, sometimes I'm deep into a call in the and I'm seeing in chat like move on, but I'm like hell no. This right, is but you can't. I I I used to read the chat while I do the uh, phone calls, but then they're like fuck this guy. Yeah, and I'm in my uh, head. I'm like oh well, maybe I should hate this, bro. but no, it, I don't want them in my head. You're right. You gotta you gotta sometimes. Anyway, let's read chat. So I was just saying, can you guys vote? I, I'd like to know if I was right in that one. So say, I, I had stepped out to go to the bathroom. You you hung up on the caller. Is that what I happened? said? Is it, we got to move. I said we got to get out of this. There's no wrong or right. Subjective. Well, no, we're gonna get to the bottom of this right now. Okay. Via the people. Sure. Was Ethan right to move on from the caller? Yes or no? Yeah, but you know you don't want to let the people. Look, my my prime objective is to entertain the people. Yeah, of course. I'm not actually here to. Uh... What is your? What do you? What do you want out of? If you died tomorrow, yeah, would you be like, we did it, or would you be like, nah, I still had things I wanted to do? I did it. You did it? Yeah. Okay, sorry, so we're on bonus mode now. But I'm on bonus mode, for sure. I'm just enjoying my family. Yeah. I'm enjoying working with all these wonderful people. Okay. I'm enjoying um, entertaining all these awesome people at home. Yeah. I feel, like, totally blessed. I'm right where I want to be. And uh, I, do I don't want to die. Do you get a sense from them that they're like, Ethan has to do something right now or else I'm unsub, unfollow? No, no. Yeah. Why is everybody saying bad poll? I mean, it's a, it's <coughs> That's a, a, a very good straightforward poll. poll. That's Thank a good you. Poll. Thank you good for poll. saying so, Ethan. So that one was actually closer than the last one. Yeah. 
Yeah, but not I, as much support I, I on know. this one, I'm afraid. I, I'm sorry, guys. I, just, I didn't know what to say. What's uh? What do you what wakes what gets you out of bed in the morning, Ethan? He doesn't. <laughs> My Pretty repeated phone calls saying, <laughs> "Where are you?" <laughs> Pretty much nothing. What gets me out of the bed in the yeah. morning is. I'm not that depressed. I find that question kind of odd. It's like, okay. what make what keeps you from literally swallowing a bottle of Advil? That's a legitimate question. There's a lot of things I enjoy in the day. You know? I love being with my kids. I love okay. doing this show. Great. I love making dinner, spending Good. time with my fam. That's a well-rounded life. I like playing video games. Yeah. I like watching anime. Um, I, I, there's I lot. I, there's a lot throughout my whole day. You know, yeah. I, there's things Pizza. I enjoy. That's good. That's a that's as far better well-rounded life than I have. Pizza. What keep what gets you out of bed in the day? The sun. So, so there you go. Stop the sun from being. Why haven't you killed yourself yet? That's it. why haven't I killed myself yet? <laughs> well, because um. Milf Manor was. Well, on it's an interesting thing. Why? Because we're you're gonna die anyway. Just cut to the chase. I am not. Ah, uh, you know. I mean, there's so stuff. There's you know. Have you ever had Nerds gummy clusters? So good. Those stop me from so killing myself. So fucking good, bro. Legit. So good. They can have this as a free advertisement. Nerds gummy clusters. Saving lives. Stop me. From violently committing suicide. You guys know that they recently started selling Sour Patch Kids, but only the blue ones. Well, why? Okay, why? Because the blue ones are the best. I thought they all taste the same. Ethan, absolutely they, not. Ethan, okay. I would run away before I killed myself. You know, like I, I would. There's so many. Um, like you can go rogue. You can go to. Like I think the idea of g trying to start a new life. In a totally foreign place. You can just fascinating. re yeah. You can just re-roll. You respawn. Respawn. Yeah. Rewind time. It's a rewind time. H Factory.